I figured out what the problem was, May May. Oh, I almost cursed. Oh, God. <laughs> I figured out what the problem was. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. You're lucky. I saw that you had turned on the mic. Yeah, I know. Wow. <laughs> that was Ow. fun. I was like, oh, I wonder what this, if I press this button, if it actually works now. Whoopsies. Ow. For those of you who don't know what just happened, we couldn't have we didn't have sound in our headphones, but it turns out because I turned the preview on because we were listening to another song because we wanted to see okay let's see if we can't fix that a little bit make sure it starts on time, and I kind of didn't free unpress it and never before has not unpressing that button ever caused the headphones to like, not work. I was like maybe there's a small chance, and what do you know it was a small chance. Ow, my head hurts already. That did not help. Did not mean for that to happen. To you. <laughs> that was fun though. Ow. We got too many segments. Now we gotta hype them all. All for the hype train. Hype, hype, choo, choo. <laughs> it's what I do, apparently. Because up next we got irrelevant news. Back and better than ever because because we're doing it. So it's irrelevant. Yeah. So it's better. Exactly. We're not gonna talk about the sad, the sadness today. Yeah. Wait, what sadness? Trump. We will talk about it if we need to. His, his inauguration, and I totally pronounced that right, nailed it. See, things I'd rather do than go to any inauguration or watch any inauguration on TV. And this is, by the way, in no way, just because it's Trump's, it's because I don't like inaugurations at all. It's kind of boring. I don't like them either. I, I never rather, watch them. rather go to the dentist. Rather uh, get my foot shot by an actual bullet. Uh, I'd rather, you know, uh, what is it, Taiwanese teeth pull yeah i think which i believe is you know when you tie uh, i'd rather pet crocodiles and alligators and it's not, like like i said it's not because it's trump's it's because of uh, inauguration in general i hated in high school when they made me watch the obama once and i hated you know if i don't remember you know, so long ago. yeah but it's still inauguration day so now we actually have to recognize him as our president yes you do end of story don't care he's it's, not it my just president makes me shut sad. up he is your president he it, just like it, it's Obama un- was everyone else's president, he is everyone else's president. There is now no turning back. Unless you want to go to move to Canada or Mexico, he's your president. I'll move to Ireland. I'll agree with that one. That one sounds fine. Anyway, let's get on with it because we got Ninja Sex theme song. Said that's so wrong, but I don't care. I'm at breaking point at the moment. So here is NSP theme song by Ninja Sex Party right here at 89.5 The Wave. This is the Irrelevant News Desk with the Doug Brooks and the Morning Show. Happy birthday to astronaut Edwin Buzz Aldrin, who is 87. Bill Maher, who is 61. Rain Wilson from The Office, you know, Dwight, who is 51. And musician Questlove, who is 46. Today is Sweatpants Day and Disc Jockey Day. These things go together since Disc Jockey's favorite piece of clothing is sweatpants. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. Oh. And probably except C out in the lobby somewhere. Probably. Probably around More campus. More than likely. The White House re- has released another batch of items seized from the home of Osama bin Laden. Uh. Who would have guessed that he would have had an autographed copy of the original cast album of Builder on the Roof? Man, I think that's probably worth a good 100000 at Dang. least. He'd be. Hey, 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 speaking of what we were talking about during the, uh, you know, hype session, it's Inauguration Day. Also known as the five craziest hours in the White House. The outgoing family's moving trucks will pull into the west side of South Puerto Rico driveway. The incoming president's moving trucks will pull into the east side. And all the boxes owned by the incoming first family are emptied and clothes are placed in closets and drawers. See, they don't even have to empty their own moving boxes. They got people for that. That's nice. I wish I was president again. Super Mario Run, which has been on iPhone and iPad since December, is coming to Android devices in March. Wait, what? I never heard of that. Oh, you haven't heard about Mario Run? Oh, it's a fun game where you have to pay $10 to get all the levels. No. Yep. Uh, in New Hampshire, the state police say a woman was accused of driving 91 miles per hour in a snowstorm. Said she was led to an appointment to have a new car stereo installed. Police said they stopped a 20-year-old woman for... Going 91 miles per hour, covered with window, covered the window in snow and slush. 
the the two NFL games on Sunday will determine who's going to ple- who's going to the Super Bowl. The early game, 3 p.m. ET Fox, features Atlanta and Green Bay, and the second game, 6:30 p.m. ET CBS, has New England Patriots hosting Pittsburgh. For those of you who don't realize what ET, that's Eastern Time, which means here in St. Louis, which would be Central Time, that would be one hour sooner. So yeah, two. So two o'clock and five thirty for those of you who really want to watch the games. I'm sorry. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure people knew what time yeah. the games were. You know, be, be nice. There we go. Press the button wouldn't work anyway, so I had to find a way to talk. A fired IT administrator for the online college requested two hundred thousand dollars from the school in order to unlock the school's computer cloud data, plus another ten grand for the keys to the faculty washrooms. Okay, I'm already gonna apologize for this because I'm gonna butcher so many sentences. Do you want me to? Do you want me to just take I can, it? I can do you it. You can do it. Okay. U.S. government scientists announced Wednesday that 2016 was the hottest year in 137 years record, years record of records, keeping in the third keeping in the third was year. Was the in hottest a, year in 137 years of record keeping? Okay. And the third year in a row to take the number one slot. While records was expected, while the record was expected, the joint announcement by NASA and the Na- National Oceanic Atm- and Atmosphere Stern- Administration. I'm too tired. The for this. NOAA. Let's just call them that. Yes. Came up in the midset of the Senate confirm- confirmation hearings. The president-elect Trump. Cabinet norm, norm, <laughs> nominees, normies, nominees. <laughs> several of whom have expressed doubts that established climate science as Trump has himself. All right. I was so butchered. I'm so sorry. So basically, 2016 was the hottest year on record. I just, I just, that would have been way faster to say. To add even more. Wait, yeah. Why didn't they just start off with that? They did. They, they literally did. That's the title of the story. I know it's the title, but you like, could you could have just said you could have just said the title of the story honestly if you wanted okay. to. Okay. I wouldn't have complained. So, the most expensive home for sale in the United States just hit the market for two hundred and fifty million dollars, and it includes a helicopter, a complete car, an art collection, seven full-time staff, and candy. The 38,000-square-foot Bel Air Los Angeles mansion stands four stories tall and includes 12 bedrooms, 21 bathrooms, three kitchens, a four-lane bowling alley, and a movie theater with 40 seats and a 30-foot TV. I want to buy that house just for the candy. Just for the candy. I don't care about the the rest. theater. I don't care about really the rest, but the candy is worth the $250 million itself, I feel. Alabama authorities mounted a search for a missing hunter, then realized that earlier he had been arrested for public intoxication and was sitting in jail. Whoops. Whoops. And as for your last story, Will and Grace is making a comeback. That's right. The great couple of Will and Grace are back. NBC said Wednesday that 10 new episodes are set to air during 2017-2018. The series will feature original stars Eric McCormick, Deborah Messing, Sean Hayes, and Megan Milani. Nice. That should be good. I used to like Will and Grace when I was younger. I never watched it. It was one of those things where it was fine, kind of questionable for my mom to make, let me watch, but at the same time, who cares? Oh, it's one of those shows. No, no, no. It was question because, you know, adult humor. Yeah. Especially since, you know, it was about two gay guys. I kind of want to watch that now. There you go. You said the magical word. Gay? Yes. Okay. I was going to say, gay or guys? <laughs> gay. <laughs> and with that, that is your relevant news for the day. And with that, you know, traditions need to stay. One, two, three. Don't rip it. I meant throw it backwards. Come on. Yeah, I know I never let you throw it and such. <laughs> That's normally me and Shortmander thing, but yeah, we need to bring it back. I, I want to I rip it up and then throw it. Well, actually, you can, we, we can rip up one. If you if you want to get two pieces, uh, make sure they're two different pieces. I'll make, it, make sure it's not the same because I got stable together for news. You can do that. We'll do that off air. So, while she's getting that and getting ready to rip it up and such, there you can rip up the one page on air if you want. Ah! There we go. Here is Holy by Florida Georgia Line right here on 89.5 The Wave. Do you want to rip it one more time for emphasis? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's what you get when you watch the Doug Brooks in the Morning Show. That's always a good thing. 